democratization, liberalization. And what that would bring to the table is the fact that before you embark on any, any industrial action, cross-fertilization of ideas, what we have noted over time is that within one union, the different ideas, the different perspectives are actually muffled. That sound is actually muffled. And what you see is a perspective of some people. The perspective of other people is not actually reflective of what transpires at the end of the day. So when you will have liberalization, what you will eventually have is healthy competition. The interest eventually resulting in the protection of the interest of all the stakeholders. Because the other perspective, they are also stakeholders. And once their voice is muffled, their interests are not protected. And as academic staff in unionism in universities, in so doing, you will have academic staff in unions with different ideologies. And each lecturer will now be free to choose the academic staff union of his own ideology to fit in with, to go with, to believe in. And there will now be amalgamation of ideas when it comes to decision taking. For more than 40 years now, in the Nigerian university system, there has been monopoly of academic staff unionism in Nigerian universities. Looking at the non-academic staff unionism, for that same period of time, there has been liberalization, producing about three very well-functioning um, unions. I think you should know these unions I'm talking about.